Well, hello, you glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Online. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. It's update day. We got a new legendary bounty, which we covered on the channel already. One of my favorites that have been added so far. You got to hunt down an anarchist, and I think it was pretty fun. But we also got new clothing. It seems like they're adding new clothes every other week. And they're adding quite a few clothes at that, which I really like. I do like that way that they're doing it where we get a bunch of new clothes all at once each week rather than like a hat one week and then a coat another week. I do think that they're doing a good job with this. We're going to be checking out all the new clothes today and putting together a new outfit. Now, last time <laughs> I made an outfit with just the new clothes that were released, but today I'm going to try and make a cooler outfit for everybody. Uh, so keep an eye out for the end of the video where we put that outfit together. And I did release an outfit video yesterday with three new outfits to look like a baller in the Wild West. We did get a new hat. It's new hat Tuesday, baby. You know you missed it. You know you wanted it back. We got new hats. We got the Fallwell hat in limited stock, which means this will disappear. So get it while you can if you want some kind of... Actually, you know what? I kind of like this hat. I don't know. I didn't think I was going to be a big fan of it, but I, I kind of like it. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's not $150, though, or six gold bars. It's, it's a little expensive, but um, it's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. Oh, sweet baby beluga whale. They're not putting them in order now. We've got another limited stock hat. The Dillahay hat. The Dillahay hat? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's four gold. Oh my god, what is this thing? This is crazy. I've got an outfit in mind for this, though. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Especially for four gold bars. Uh, it's got some, like, pieces. Does, is it shot out of it, maybe? Because they're, like, perfect circles. So it doesn't look like it's bitten out. Or, like, fallen off. It looks like maybe it was shot off, which is kind of cool, I suppose. I might be able to think of an outfit for this. Let me know what you think of the Dillahay hat. I don't know how to pronounce it. Feel free to roast me in the comments if you so desire, because we know some grammar Nazi out there is going to do it. Now, this is what I'm excited about. We got a bird poncho. What's better than a regular poncho? A bird poncho for six gold bars and its limited stock. Oh my god. It's still not the square poncho that everybody wants. They're just reusing the same poncho and then just giving us different colors, which I'm a little upset about. Uh, I'm not going to lie, because uh, this is literally the same poncho, but with different stuff on. I can't see the back of it, though. Apparently there's like a, a bird back there somewhere. Uh, I guess I have to buy one to show it off. Uh, let's see here. Which one do I want? Blue? Oh, with want that blue or this blue? Is there even a difference? <laughs> I'll get this one, I guess. And then we can show that off. Is it equipped? Yeah, it's equipped. Where's my bird at? We got a new coat, too. That's what I'm excited about. I've been wanting some new good coats. Because um, there's only a few that I actually legitimately like. All right, have a think about it. There we go. What kind of bird is that? Does that does, if anybody knows... Is it kind of like a... I have no idea. I'm not even going to take a All guess. Right. I do like the poncho. But I wish they gave us a different, like, a different variation of the poncho. I, I'm, I'm kind of tired of this same look. Everybody wants the square poncho, so give us the square poncho. Forget to buy Let's check out this coat. It better be good. The Eberhart coat. Eberhart coat? Oh. Ooh la la. Okay. Me likey. I like this coat. Oh, gotta make a, a pimp coat. Yeah, Pinky's coming back. I still need to make that all pink outfit. I'm gonna do it. A bunch of people actually, after I mentioned that in a previous video, sent me a ton of pictures of their all pink outfits, and I need to make one just just for funsies. It's, it's October, right? This is the month we're supposed to be doing that, right? All right, let's go back. Uh, so that's the Eberhart coat. Eight gold bars for that bad boy. I think that was the only other coat. Yeah, okay, that is. See, the, all the ponchos, they look exactly the same, just with different... They tried to trick us and make it look like it was different by flipping it around with the bird on the back and teasing us, getting us all excited, but nope. Next up, we've got another limited stock item, the Carver Pants. So this means they all will be cycling and are basically out of the catalog and then back in at another point in time. Um, I mean, this does match the new jacket that we got, so... I still don't know how to feel about them, though. But at least they look better down near the boots. Instead of looking just absolutely terrible when they're tucked under the pants like all the other pants. All, all the other pants? I'm struggling. It's early in the morning. 
All right, let's go back and check out what else is available. All right, okay. I gotta say, they're getting... Getting a little lazy with this stuff. So we got the Valdez vest here, right? Which I never really liked. <laughs> just, just, just wait for this. The new vest. It's the Valdez vest with fur. If you wanted a Valdez vest, but with fur, ladies and gentlemen, look no further than the Morales vest. It's exactly the same, but you can get your furry on. These are all $157.75 or five gold bars. I kind of like the blue one, though. Yeah, I think the blue one's my favorite. If I were to pick one, that is. Uh, and then aside from that, I do believe that is all the new clothing. Okay, so here's the outfit. I thought this jacket was really cool just when I saw it. And then put these clothes on and I, and I saw myself in the mirror... There's a freaking eagle on the back, baby! Look at this thing! That's awesome! About a curse in now when I hit a tree or fly off a cliff, a cliff, a cliff, maybe I can sure. fly! Shut up! I'm trying to talk! I will murder you! God, nobody cares about the Valentine curse. Anyways, we got an outfit here, and it's pretty easy to put together. Now the hat, I am using the Carthage hat, but you can... I just like the Carthage hat because the, the bits on it match the little goldish yellow trim on the jacket, and that's why I decided to use it. But you can really do whatever you want. I just particularly really like this hat. It's my favorite in the game right now. But there's a couple others that you can use if you really want to. You know, uh, the outfits are all about your personal style. I give you, like, a little bit of a guideline for what might look good, and then you can change it up, all the colors and whatnot, for your own personal taste. Now, obviously... For the coat, we are using the new Eberhardt coat. Comes in a bunch of different varieties. I almost made a red outfit, because I haven't made one of those in a long time. Uh, I might still do that. We got no neckwear. You can use a bandana or something if you want, but I did like the look of this with the neck open. And you can modify all of this stuff by going up here, or like hitting square when you're getting changed. And you can modify the look of your clothes. You can roll up your sleeves if you want. You can put your pants over your boots, or under your boots, or whatever. Uh, I like the look of the pants being... Or the boots being over the pants because it looks like hammered booty when the pants are over the boots. Now, eyewear. I know 15 billion people are going to ask. The steel spectacles. If yours aren't shaded, open a tag with Rockstar. I have no idea why they're not. Wish I knew, but I don't. <laughs> I wish I knew. Okay, anyways. Uh, vests. We are using a Paisley vest, but honestly, there's so many different vests that you could use that look okay with this. Uh, so you've got the Paisley vest as an option. That's the one I'm using right now. Uh, the next best one, you can use... Yeah, not that one. The Richfield vest. There's a black variant in here, which looks really nice with this particular outfit as well. Uh, this might be the next best one. I'd still really like this one. And then there is the Lancer vest that you can use too. All of those look good. If you're going... For the, like, black-on-black black colorization, and you want a little bit of a change in color for your vest. The shirt we are using is the side collar shirt. Uh, there's another one. You can use the collared over shirt, the everyday shirt. There's a couple different ones that you can use. You get really fancy and use the wool shirt, baby. The padded shirt. There's, there's a lot of different options you can use for this one. Really use whatever you want. Uh, we, got, we do have suspenders on, but you can't see them anyways. Doesn't really matter. Don't have any gauntlets. No gloves, because I want to see them rings, baby. I'm going to equip the Carthage ring. Eh, I like the raw back more, actually. And then on the right hand, we're going to put the, the, the black bone, baby. Beautiful. Got to make it match. Got to make it match. Uh, belts. You know, what does a belt look like on this outfit? Can you even see it? No. Okay. I really hope they add more belts. That would be absolutely amazing. We are using the Bounty Hunter uh, holster and uh, gun belt. Pants. Very important. I thought the pants glitched off for a second. I was like, oh, God. We are using the Bandito pants. I use these in a lot of different outfits because, quite frankly, in my opinion, they're the best-looking pants in the game if you want, like, a, a clean look. And these are kind of why I was going for maybe a red outfit with this. I think it would look really nice, red and black. Uh, so you can go with that if you so desire. And then boots, my favorite boots in the game. Everybody knows by now for watching my outfit videos. Favorite boots in the game, the Austin boots. Because we are going for that black on black look. It looks really nice together. 
And then these are actually my... F I have two pair of spurs that I like. I like the Gurdon Deluxe Spurs and the Vaquero ones. I really don't use any others because they just don't look that great. Um, so these two are... If I'm going to use spurs, I'm going to use one of these probably. That's just my personal taste. Of course, if I'm going to make a pink outfit, then... <laughs> Welcome back, sir. <laughs> then I'll have to find me some pink spurs. But all in all... Decent clothing added today. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And once again, if you have any outfits that are your absolute favorite that you've created in Red Dead Online, and you want to maybe see them in a video, feel free to send them to me on Twitter. Just send me a picture, and I will do my best to recreate, unless you want to send me an actual list as well of the clothes that you are using. And uh, we'll be doing more outfit videos throughout the week. Maybe we'll do like one a week. Maybe like make it like an outfit Monday or something like that. But I do hope you all enjoyed the video. I will be doing a tutorial on the locations for the new Madame Nazar's collection this week, so keep an eye out for that on the channel. But if you did enjoy the video, feel free to fondle that like button, whisper sweet nothings to it, smack it around a little bit, show it some love, and I'll see you all in the next one.